Hey guys, my name is William, and today we're going to be covering Google My Business account is being suspended to due to quality issues. If your Google My Business account has been suspended to due to quality issues, as Google would like to say, you're going to want to pay attention to this video today. So, what does this mean? So, this could mean several things. One, you're not in Google's terms of services, right? That's the first thing. Um, it could be a very, it could be various things. It could be um, picture quality. It could be your posts. It could be how are you doing your post. It could be your business title. It could be are you a service area business um, doing business in the wrong area. I mean, it could be a this a ton of different things, right? Um, but we're not going to let that stop us, right? The next thing it could be is the competition reported you. Why would the competition reported you? Because you're whooping that ass. That's why. So, um, and they don't like it. You know, most competition, they're not going to like it if, you know, I'm going for roofing and or I'm going for Havoc repair and in Orlando and your ass is up here at top all the time and I get aggravated. Right? So... <laughs> What a lot of people will do is they'll come in here and they'll click on your link and they'll go, oh, I want to report this business or suggest an edit. And they'll go close or remove and they'll figure out one of these things and they'll go in here and they want to report you. And if Google can verify some of that information, Google will take your shit down. Okay, we're not going to be covering that today, but um, sneaky little black hat tactics to get shit shut down. But that's what'll happen so what to do number one don't panic okay don't panic it happens all the time and it happens to a lot of people so what we want to do is we want to make sure that we set up our listing appropriately so if this was to ever happen you have backups what do i mean by backups well number one when you started it did you get a dba all right, what's a DBA? Uh, DBA is doing business ads. So you can do that if you have several businesses. Let's say I wanted to be uh, William Jones doing business as Jack's Best Plumber. William Jones doing business as AC Repair. William Jones doing business as Plumbing Repairs. And I can have up in most cities, or states five different DBAs underneath one main a company. Okay, that's step one. Your DBA should match. DBA should always match your Google business title, right? And some people will laugh about it, say it's unnecessary, but damn well be necessary whenever Google sends you that little email and says, hey, your listing's been suspended due to quality issues, and now you're fucked. Especially if you don't have a DBA or business license. Number two, make sure that that DBA address matches your Google business listing address right number four utility bill must match address as well right then number five your citations but the most important ones out of all this is this right here right because you're going to get this infamous email that's going to say your listing has been suspended. And if your listing has been suspended, you're going to need that information to send back to Google. And hopefully, by the grace of God, you'll get your GMB reinstated and you won't lose too much traction. Okay? So that's why we want to always do the DBA and everything else. 
But this is serious. I mean, it's one of the things Google hasn't nipped in the bud is people can be pissed off because you're outranking them or whatever. Or they go into, let's say, I'm just giving you an example. Let's say Roofing Atlanta or an even better one, Locksmith. Because y'all are known for some spammy shit. And you'll go in here and every one of these, look at this. Silver State Locksmith. He looks legitimate, but then you got Area Locksmith Las Vegas, Locksmith Las Vegas, Locksmith Las Vegas, Locksmith, not NV, Locksmith Las Vegas. And people will go, they'll get so pissed off, and instead of trying to beat them in actual SEO, they'll just go in here and report every fucking one of these people and hit suggest and edit. And they'll sit here and mess with it, mess with it, mess with it, and hopefully, in their eyes, take it down. One of the reasons I always suggest not doing it, even in my classes and courses I teach against it, is because I have to think about this. If I go in here and I report these people, I'm being completely selfish, right? You know, I'm thinking about me, nobody else. I'm like, I don't give a shit about anybody but myself. And what I have to think about is, yes, this guy might be beating me, but he also has family, maybe kids. He has employees and they got family and kids. So if I take this down, I could cause a lot of devastation, business loss, and that's going to affect other people. So I would be able to sleep better at night knowing, hey, I just beat them with SEO and actually beating them at the game instead of just going in here and taking a cheap shot at them and trying to knock them down. Once again, my name is William Jones, and in today's video, we covered... How to deal with Google My Business account suspension issues due to quality. Okay, if you have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them through the week. <clears throat> and make sure to like and subscribe to this channel and like the video and even share it. We will appreciate it. And if you don't have my Google My Business toolkit, drop a comment below too and I'll give you that as well. Be blessed and have a great day.